Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will explore a free IoT platform called as WLED. Using this platform, you can control any RGB LED strip through internet from your mobile. You can also connect Alexa for voice control. Alexa. Turn on RGB lights. Okay. Apart from that, you can also control the LED strip with IR remote and push button. There is n number of modes available in the app and you can do a lot of customization. You can also schedule on and off time for the LED strip. So this platform has a lot of features which is impossible to cover in a single video. And the best part of this platform is you don't have to write a single line code. So after watching the video, anyone can make this project. So without any further delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium, which is a world-class PCB designer software trusted by the most of the big electronic companies. The user interface is so simple, you can easily design any complex PCBs in Altium. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can not only design PCBs, but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage, and a lot more. And along with all these, they do have a very useful search engine just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any electronic components, compare the price and availability around the globe. Apart from that, you can also check the datasheet. Altium provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. And now you can download the free trial version of the Altium PCB Designer software from the description and use all these services in your next PCB design. If you are using 5 volt LED strip, then you just need a ESP32, nothing else. But for the 12 volt LED strip, you have to add a voltage regulator to drop down 12 volt to 5 volt for ESP32 as per this circuit. Now, if you want to add more features to the circuit like manual control or IR remote control, then you can refer to this circuit. Here you can see I have connected two push button. One for controlling the LED, another is to change the mode of the LED and here I have connected the I receiver and these two capacitors are optional, I have just used it to make the circuit more stable. So the circuit part is very simple, now let me connect the ESP32 with my laptop to upload the firmware. Now to install the firmware, you have to open a browser like Chrome or Microsoft Edge, then type install.wled.me then press the enter you will redirect to this page then select the firmware version i am selecting 0.14 then click on install then you have to select the usb port where esp32 is connected then click on connect then click on install wled then again click on install now this will upload the firmware to esp32 board and it may take some time now click on next then you have to enter the Wi-Fi credential. So here, let me select the Wi-Fi name, then enter the Wi-Fi password, then click on connect. Now you may click on visit device to see the interface. Now you can configure the GPIOs and other details from this interface, but we will do that configuration from the mobile app. Here you can see I have made the circuit on the breadboard using ESP32 and the voltage regulator. Now we will use this LED strip 2811. On that strip, you will notice this is 12 volt, this is data pin, and this is ground. So from this indication, we can identify these three back. The red one is the 12 volt, white one is the ground, and the middle one is the data pin. And you will also notice this arrow, which indicate this part is D in. Here you can see D in is written, and this is data out which indicates by do so we will connect the data pin from d in terminal here you can see i have connected the led strip with the circuit and you can also provide 12 volt supply across these two wires now the red wire is parallel to this red wire which is plus 12 volt and the black wire is parallel to this white wire which is ground 
then we will configure this WLED app you can download it from the app store or google play store now let me open the app first i will tap on this plus icon then tap on discover lights and here you can see found WLED so i will tap on this tick icon and this is our device let me tap on it first we will configure the gpio so i will tap on config then select led preference now from this page you can configure the esp32 so first i will select the 12 volt led then i will select a color order as per my led strip you have to select according to the led strip you are using then in my strip i have total 100 led but initially i want to control 10 led from the strip so i will type here 10 in the length then i have to enter the gpio for the data pin and here i have used 25 so you can use any other gpio you have to enter the gpio details which is connected with the data pin of the led strip then if i scroll down here you can configure the buttons which we'll see later so now i will save the configuration then tap on back led is already on you can see now let me make it blue you can see it turns into blue from the strip only the 10 leds are on so this is one led this is another led like that you will find as i have entered the 10 so first 10 leds are on now let me quickly connect the ir receiver with this circuit so again i will go to config led preference then from this drop down i will select the gpio details so here i have connected the sensor output pin with 35 gpio then i will enable the remote and here i am using this remote which has 24 keys so i will select this so you have to select the remote type as per as per the IR remote you are using so from this IR remote now I can able to turn on or off the LED let me turn it off you can see it turns off now let me connect this LED strip in the Amazon Alexa app for that you need a eco device then go to config then select sync interfaces from here you will find Alexa voice assistant so here you can see this is Alexa voice assistant I will enable this option then give a name to this LED light say RGB light you can give any name then save it after that open the Amazon Alexa app then go to device tap on this plus icon select add device then select light scroll down then select other then Wi-Fi then discover device it will take some time and during this time the eco dot esp32 and your alexa app must be connected with the same wi-fi network so here you can see one light found and connected so let me keep this then if i go to light i should see the light rgb led currently the led is on so let me turn it off alexa. turn off rgb light okay you can see the light turns off to make the circuit compact i have designed this pcb you can also use this pcb layout to make the circuit on the zero pcb and here you can see i have made the complete circuit on the zero pcb so let me connect the esp32 on this pcb now i will control the complete strip so again i will go to the wled app then go to configuration led preference and here i will select length 100 as i want to control the complete strip then i will also configure these two push button connected with esp32 so with the first push button we can turn on and off the led so i will select here gpio 5 the type will be push button in the next button i'll select gpio 21 and here i will select the push button again then i will save it then i will go to back and now you can see whole strip are on so let me select a mode first say aurora you can see the mode changes i can select any mode from this dashboard and i can also use the push button which is connected with the gpio 21 so this button to change the mode so let me press the push button you can see the mode changes if i press it again and you can also monitor it on the mobile app the mode are changing we press it again so thus we can change the mode now we can also turn the led on and off from the push button connected with gpio 5 let me press the push button 
you can see LED turns off. Let me press it again. The LED turns on, and you can also monitor the real time feedback on the mobile app. Now, the only limitation of this IoT platform is everything should be connected with the same Wi Fi network, otherwise, it will not work. So, anytime you are not able to connect the LED strip, you just have to delete the existing device, then tap on plus icon, tap on discover device after it found the WA LED tap on the tick icon and you will find the device again and you don't have to configure it again and again the configuration will be saved in the esp32 right now we have added the device again but if i go to config menu everything is configured as before as everything is saved in the esp32 so here you can see i don't have to configure it again so this is a very useful project using free iot platform and you can do a lot of things using this wled app if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching have a great day